what happened no? yeah. this let it be little interaction hmm? so it's not i am talking some this thing hmm? and uh, whatever your inputs are you can give and if you want to go on any questions you can ask me between us and in doubt now if you feel the fact is right we should tell yes hmm. Every bite you take is either fighting the disease or feeding it. Yes. 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 Very much true. <laughs> and you can see what is the picture showing there. Every sip you take is either fighting the disease or feeding it. Yes. 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 Right. Right. And every breath you take is same. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Japanese research tells acidity is not only the cause of diabetes but more dominant because of stress. Yes. Yes. hypertension is not only caused by too much of consumption of salt but you are failing to manage the emotions yes. and high cholesterol just not because of junk foods yes sedentary yes. lifestyle yes. asthma you don't know how to manage the sad feelings you are too much depressed and diabetes not only because of consumption of calories but also see selfish stuff on added oh, yeah. all the japanese research Now you know the recent just two days before I saw sixty thousand more than sixty thousand people have crossed hundred in Japan. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And the oldest lady she celebrated her birthday and then seventy years and then seven. And they have told some secrets how to live healthy long life. See I will tell you for health samadosha samagnistya samadhatu balakriyana. प्रसन्न आत्म इंद्रिय मन स्वस्थ इंद्रियोषा Everything is included. <coughs> What modern definition does we'll see? Because we have to always correlate with this. Because always we think Western tells me we'll accept. Our yes. thing we usually forget. But even see how whether they accept or not. They are getting health yeah. is four dimensions: physical, mental, or psychological, spiritual. I underlined it. Very late they realized, and social. Definitely, what W H O tells. Health is a state of complete physical, mental, and social well-being, and not merely the absence of disease or infirmity. That's what it was told in 1940s. Later on, they included spiritual health. Recently, because you know, after note bank and GST and all, economically productive. Right? Everywhere where we go, there is cost. That is all. Again, it will add for stress. All things increase in life except salary. Except mm-hmm. salary. That's why stress. So you have to go for economy. That's why whenever you go for shopping, you'll see which is the less cost is there. All those things. That's <laughs> stress, right? Now you know the evolution from egg to man, right? This we are studying now. Basic education. See where we are moving. <laughs> <laughs> there the disease start. Now initially I told every bite you take, every sip, and that is what you are saying. The junk foods. That is true, sir. So we are moving from health to disease. It is called re-evolution from man to metabolic syndrome. Now you know what is metabolic syndrome. It is not a disease; it is a syndrome. So it is having collection of diseases. See, <coughs> so what he is not prone for, he is prone for everything. Now this metabolic syndrome is also called as silent killer. Now this is the concept of root to root. If you are root, nutrition, sensory therapy, deep breathing, all these are proper, then the fruit will be proper. The behavior, attitude, sensory processing, motor skills, attention, the way you think, all these from root to root. Suppose you have some problem in fruit in a tree, you are not going to treat the fruit. If you treat the fruit, one more fruit will get spoiled. You treat the root. That's why we go for. Etiology in pathology, we have to find out the cause, treat the cause, then we will get. So don't go for symptomatically. Ancient history in that history, swastha, swastha, rakshana, 
maintain the health of a healthy person mm. and atrasya vikara prashanam to cure the disease in a diseased person so always we should stick on to first now see regimen tries for healthy life told in the classical text day regimen night regimen and season regimen what we should follow what we do i'll go with the fact of though dinacharya and see waking up it is told that you should get up 4:30 to 6 a.m. how many people get up 4:30 to 6 anybody no just raise that yeah okay 4:30 to 6 class this is the time for that's uh, it's a time for brahmi day brahmi saraswati who sits near the brahma mm-hmm. that is her time that's a concentration you know that bappa uh, pamani ali that vande laga vande laga is concentration that the name, same name they kept for the plant brahmi so that's why there we have brahmi gurta available in the market you can do some uh, cn study on that memory learning and memory you can do some screen process we usually get up after seven most of us most of us especially in and it is told that to see or touch auspicious things like ghee curd mirror white mustard bell fruit flowers turmeric cow etc they were they were doing those those times but what we will do now first we'll touch our mobile oh, <laughs> always we touch mobile check as all as the messages on whatsapp and other social apps yes sir no this is the blender we are doing every day this when i presented one of our student asked in one conference sir actually we keep alarm mm. i told is it the only gadget you have for alarm is there any other gadget no that is we are giving a reason for the bad thing when we justify that we are going through the disease so you should see the Ah, nice. This is all the auspicious thing is told. The more see, for example, if any pregnant woman, what we do? You see, small baby. Now, 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 all the auspicious things this is one thing the first thing you get the confidence you know, confidence you get morning that's one thing so but we see this as well this as well this is available i don't know this as well hold on in this they move out of the way oh no they put the it's not edible it's not edible it's edible but they use it for puja purpose puja purpose yes okay and they give it your rice and the ಸೋ <laughs> 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 now you know the concept of balance diet i am not going to detail about that so it should contain all the essential nutrients six main nutrients you know in diet chemistry we go to the next one now mix that your concept this i will based on the classical concept now see i kept two uh, mixer jar here isn't it <coughs> half of the jar you fill with solid maybe you are making chutney one fourth with liquid rest you leave this empty and switch on and see how paste you get chutney paste but you fill up to the brim with less force and uh, when the lower part will get you know the churn as the upper part will remain there is a cause for indigestion in the stomach same thing happens it will not get digestion what happens you know your enzyme will not penetrate so there is not enough you know space and water content so it becomes semi solid paste or that is called as in ayurveda um, toxic food for the disease the stomach is the root for the body from there everything gets absorbed it's just like you know so there it starts with the disease that's it that's indigestion first thing that is you must be ready with the gi tract breakfast lunch dinner this is the manas <laughs> see what what this is a, a, a famous quote is here eat breakfast like a king lunch like a prince and dinner like a pauper poor because night we are not going to do any activity fill up to you go to some function fill up to here come back you will be sleep send it see taking water at 
after brushing teeth, rather more than salted warm water with a pinch of turmeric powder in empty stomach. But we drink coffee or tea in empty stomach, root cause for the disease. Most of them. And some people, you know, they have a habit. They see, they don't drink coffee or tea, they don't go for toilet. <laughs> some people smoke before going to the they will not get that urge for the education. So Water 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 water. I know, I just got all these questions, everything I put in the slide. Still something are there, I'll take it from here and put it next in the summer conferences. So we'll see that. So drinking coffee or tea in empty stomach is bad. You drink afterwards after breakfast, you know, 25 uh, coffees per day, no problem. Not any time. Something should be there. But after taking water, one liter of water and then having tea or coffee, is it a Still, little... still is not a thing, basically. Still, uh, because liquid is easily absorbed. Easily right? absorbed and it will be and also faster. So you won't rely on that, you know, anything gas or anything. Else. So, and it, it, it is easy individual variations for the body handling. Mm -hmm. So, as a safety measure, to be on the safer side, we then avoid this, don't want Malatriya, see, shouldn't speak, neither suppress nor initiate the urge of the natural cause. We sometimes, you know, in a hurry hurry, we do them. We should not do them. For all of us, the morning day. So, nowadays, most people usually take mobile to toilet. <laughs> and most of us train during the vacation due to lack of time, room for the disease. And the one uh, joke I saw somewhere, the person, today, my mobile, you know, got some problem. I didn't go to toilet. Today, I counted 16 rates are there. Hey. Hey. He counted because otherwise he is seeing mobile. No? Yeah. He never gave attention to what is happening in the toilet. <laughs> then he counted when he didn't take mobile. Oh, 16 is there. And he put somewhere to Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> exercise. Physical exercise is favorable to mind and adds firmness to the body. Exercise does not always mean going to gym or exhausting exercise. Just the work to the peripheral heart by avoiding elevator lift or taking staircases to go is just yeah. enough. Just walking to market, etc. A good thoughts and meditation is enough. And see, <coughs> people will do this. Doctor told spend one hour there. See, he is spending only one hour is sleeping. <laughs> so this should not be done. See, if you do exercise, see the body fat. The red is the danger, and the green, see the shape how that girl has got. Yes? You know, by the end of this uh, presentation, I want at least one concept to be adopted in your life. And this is for, you know, for other person I used to this. How many hearts we have, we are in the body, and you know, we have three hearts. One is the true heart, central heart, and two peripheral hearts we have, the calf muscles. And that is actually very important. That is working more than the, uh, the real heart. And I made it a uh, model thing. We have water pump here, fan, and water distribution. And this has to pump the water against the gravity. And that pumps very easy. Right. In the same way, your peripheral heart has to pump the blood to the heart against the gravity. And if you do more work to the peripheral heart, that itself is a very good thing. That's why we then we do walk. That's why we have flying planes. <laughs> That's the best mechanism for. So you know this how the blood flow to the heart and come back. And you know this mechanism how the vein is compressed. And half sucks the blood and pumps the blood by the heart. And half the person always pumps. You know, in Sanatana Dharma it is told the heart is like a Atomukan Tarna Kamana. And it is sucking this things actually. It is not always pumping. Sucking the blood and pumping. But this is always pumping. This is the way Dr. B.M. Yes, has quoted in one conference. It sucks and pumps half up. But this always pumps. So we tell don't lift all this gym exercise also. Just walk. Walking also, not very speed or very slow. Normal, but it's okay. Right? But some people will tell, oh, I go for a short thing, I go for market and all. No, in that time, what you are doing? Your concentration is on shopping, not on medicine. You should spend some time for, only for walking. That you know you are spending your the time for your body. Unless you realize that your hormones will not work. It will be in stress level only. Oh, he told that uh, 10 rupees per, per kg, there it is uh, 8 rupees. You know? That benefit will not get. For the best and simple exercise, normal or brisk walk. 
cycling, sit up a stand up, lifting flow and bringing it back. All you can do inside the house, you don't have to go out also. And just you have to just mix it, spread the leg, and like this, sit and get up. That's all. Only if you do. And I have given a rule of 66. 66 rule, I will tell you the, the secret of this later video. So, this is very uh, good for the top. I will tell you what is this of the rule of 6 later. I tell you the secret. Now, why I have made uh, again this uh, picture to come back? Now, this hand, what you are seeing here, you can't see here, yes? This must see shape and shape. The hand is visible there, it's not here. Can you see the difference now between the previous slide and this slide? So, that is the Benefit. Night. Don't take full meal at night. I already be told that. Walk for hundreds of before going to bed. So nobody will do that nowadays. Way to walk hundreds of steps. It's an option. If you have, you can do on the terrace or inside the house. But if it is not, then you can just take meal. And that is within three hours after sunset or three hours after dinner itself. Preferably before ten. Means there should be three hours gap should be there before you go to bed. Usually we eat and go up to eat and yes, you this. As the education. And we will be seeing uh, television and so we will go for sleep. This is also optional. You can set your own goals. Slowly you can develop that. Not, don't start everything from today or tomorrow only. But we usually take good meals and go to bed immediately in between 10 to 12 a.m. A.m. is what usually next day we are sleeping actually. See now, the biological clock is getting hampered. Sometimes late night we will see uh, movies or cricket match. 12 a.m. next week is we, we slept on the next day, not on previous day. So biological clock is getting hampered. That is the reason for all of our many imbalances of this. Now see classical concept tells 436 already told Bambi Murta up to 10 a.m. See what under light breakfast, followed fast this. Then 10 to 2, you can see there at noon. Saturdays, complete bulk of challenging work, big lunch, where you are in a work area. Then at 2 to you can see up to 6 days, create, make passages for next morning. Then again, from 6 to 10 is what we the, the lower part of the time, and after 10 is go to sleep. That is in form. So this is what we call in the classical. But you see, uh, we come to the modern concept, they told the same thing. But in relation with the experiment, that is hormones, what hormones is good here, you can see high alertness, high testosterone level, it's a best coordination at this time. This almost 99.99% matches with what classical is told. Melodrine secretion of where when it occurs, deepest method it occurs. So this is the biological rhythm. So modern concept and the old concept, that's why I always told you one of the companies. This modern is evidence-based medicine, right? Classical, they are not rival anything. It's experience based medicine. They are saying it. They didn't really need to think of this. But uh, I'll give you one example. One person who was listening to a uh, vocal music of some famous, famous person, a non music. Once he was given a new in the radio. Okay. So immediately he got something uh, uh, suspicious. He put the number from the radio station and he called to the vocalist.